funeral. Very sad, very distraught, teary-eyed. I want to bring back criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Jeff Gold and CNN legal correspondent uh, Jean Casares joins us as well. Jean, I want to start with you. Uh, you've been reporting on this case. When you look at that young looking face in court, he's 17, he was 15 years old when the crime was committed. It, it reminds us of a lot of cases like the King brothers in Florida, where these are baby faced defendants. He had no intention of taking the stand, it would seem. No, no, I don't think so. And many of his statements were played in court. And I, I think the defense used a lot of the prosecution's case, cross-examination to develop their case. But remember, he's charged with complicity to commit murder, that he helped, assisted, aided, encouraged his own father. And his father was a witness in this case. But, you know, as the evidence has come out, it's just amazing, Ashley, because I don't see the evidence for complicity to commit murder, but I think evidence has come out that he actually committed the murder. And I think a big argument in court today was, is he going to be charged as a principal in this at all? His own father says, I did it alone. My son wasn't there. But as you look at the evidence, as it unfolds, it doesn't point to the father, Ashley. One example, the father says, I smoked pot with Trey, the victim, who was 14 years old, right before I killed him. There was no pot in his system, Ashley. You know, Jeff, weigh in on this for me, if you will. Jean just mentioned it, complicity to murder. It's not conspiracy, it's complicity. When I think about a 15-year-old acting and doing something with his dad, I think all 15-year-olds are complicit when it comes to what their parents are doing. Is that criminal? Well, it could be criminal, but you're exactly right. How do you fault the 15-year-old? Remember what we have here. The dad, a month after the murder, says, my kid did it. And the reason he said that is because he was a juvenile and figured he would game the system. As a juvenile, he wouldn't get much time. Then, when the state of Kentucky upped it and indicted him or had him uh, charged criminally as an adult facing life, dad does a flip and comes out and says, I did it all. The kid had nothing to it. He's gamed the system, um, and this poor kid is in the middle. I don't know much about the kid other than what I've read in the papers. And what I'm going to tell you, you're exactly right, Ashley. Every 15-year-old looks up to their dad. I don't fault the kid if I'm a juror how do you find that there's beyond a reasonable doubt when the dad said he did it alone so I'm gonna go out on a limb you two here I'm gonna make a statement that I don't know many news anchors would make but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because this kid whose mother died in 2010 was moved into foster care apparently was doing pretty well his daddy was in prison now back in prison for this killing uh, his daddy got out of prison and got custody of this kid that to me is the crime that was committed because only months later uh, Zwicker was c killed and now we're in a you know a, a murder case involving father and son um, there you go I said it so Jeff Gold and Jean Casares thank you both stick around I got more questions for you on the legal side of things in fact a shocking story about a youth coach this one's all too familiar